Hello? Good morning? Is anyone alive out there? My brother and I watched the VHS of Titanic, which is arguably one of the more influential films of our childhood. It had two VHSs, and in this VHS you could also, for the first time, for many of us, see a breast or two. A breast or two, you could find it. If you knew the time, you didn't even have to watch the whole movie, but it doesn't matter. Even with that, and the sinking of the greatest ship ever built, apparently not, The favorite line, the best moment of the whole thing that we just loved for ourselves was the guy on the boat at the end who was yelling, Is there anyone else alive out there? And the orchestra. And the bards. We need to slow down. I need to slow down. I've been awake a long time, but I still feel asleep and unslept. Mm. That's right. Can you imagine being someone who's search and rescue? Like, what a heroic. I mean, is there anything more heroic than search and rescue? I, maybe being a paramedic, but that's right there. You know, an EMT or a nurse. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but is there anyone else alive out there? I just really am grateful. You know what it is? I gotta get all the chats up on the big monitor, is the feeling. I want you all to be enlarged. Everyone, press X to enlarge yourself. Would you... Would you enlarge yourself? Enhance. Take up more space in the universe. If the universe is expanding, then expand... with it. Poets like E.E. E. Cummings used punctuation and spacing, or lack thereof, to emphasize the way they intended to speak the words written on the page. This is a poem by E.E. E. Cummings, I Will Wait Out. I will read this poem to you if you will receive it, but mostly for myself as we go into our peaceful playthrough in Stardew. We are going on the most peaceful... We are protesters. We're peaceful protesters. Our name is Slow Snaw. We, are, we live in the wilderness. We read poems peacefully to protest anything that's not peaceful anything that does not bring peace anything that brings unrest and unpeace i don't know we're still working on the phraseology you know and we're working on the goatee it's it's a rough draft as i see it on the on the camera you know it's for it's for it's for dnd &D reasons we're playing baldur's gate three and i'm and i'm I'm kind of on the fence, honestly. I don't know if I want to have this because I have a baby. We have a baby. The baby is sleeping. Obviously, Amelia is... Should we, would you like Baby Vader? Would that be all right? Can we bring... Where is... Uh... Uh... Just a, just, just a moment. There you go. Everyone say hello. It's better with the music. He seems so small. 
I don't think I want to raise him up. I keep. I want to keep him a little lower. He's a baby Vader. Do you want to see up? Oh, big up. Uh, maybe he's cuter if you can see his buttons. Okay, poll in the chat. Vader down low. For the for the entirety of the stream. Or do we raise him to see his baby Vader buttons? One in the chat for low. Two in the chat. For raise him for the baby buttons. Hmm. Down low. Baby Vader, stay down low. You have buttons in the wide shot. Uh, you do have buttons in the medium. But in the deadpan shot, I don't think that involves you. Where is Amelia? Well, let's deduce. I have a baby. Amelia is my wife. It is her baby. Where is Amelia? Where is Amelia? I don't know. I can't. I've been thinking about this since I woke up this morning. I was trying to figure out where is, where is Amelia? I mean, I don't know. We got to find her. We're going, <laughs> we're going to find her in the wilderness, but we're peaceful protesters protesting with the with the baby with the baby is where amelia is you're pros you're all detectives i accuse you of being detectives uh eliza france thank you okay right now right now in those glitchy terrible sparkles that do not represent the quality of work that i would like to put into the world those need to be dealt with and I need your help because I have all these frames and all these things like game recaps and like chill out. There we go. We need to chill out, Cam. There it is, Bri. Why don't... You know, like... The... It's too quiet. There it goes. Oh, the mood of slow. The mood of slow. Baby Vader... I gotta talk to you, Baby Vader. I'm gonna use you. <laughs> Let's do theater therapy. And it's very thinly veiled. A man, newly a father, reconciling this concept by talking to Darth Vader. Oh my gosh. The music is just a little louder, you know? He's just cute sitting here. Like, here, let's talk it out with Vader. Vader, we're going into the woods for Stardew chillness, okay? You and I, we've been stressing. We've been fathering, but we don't know what the, that is. What is that? What is that? <laughs> uh, don't ask Vader for parenting advice. I don't know, but, 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 but Vader sought parents. He wanted Qui-Gon, he lost Qui-Gon and lost himself before he the force was his father he was really begot by the force i don't know i just don't know i don't know but anyway do you know do any of us know i mean the miracle of life can you imagine there was a time or was there before you were born that's wild to me what were you doing then? People, people don't talk about that that much, but I'm thinking about it a lot right now because I got a baby around. This baby is making me wonder like you were born and okay. You may, this is, the music is looping. So let's just, just fade. I don't know about there was a before. But they're like, this baby arrived from, you know, like there, you have like a, you have like a self, an entity coming into this plane, like earth. You need, he needs to have a smaller chair. You make an excellent point. I have a short attention. I was going to read a poem he needs a, I could make him 
stand? Is that wrong? I mean, I get to sit. He should get to sit. I shouldn't make him stand. He would be very small. But do you want to see what, about how high he'd be? He'd, he'd be about... You could put him on a trash can and he could be like here. But then, you know... Oh, no. He's so small. We could put his arms... So he's being big. Is it too small? <laughs> you don't want to decorate him? Look, we got to play some Stardew. I, it's really important to me to play Stardew, but this is actually, uh, for those of you who might just be joining, we've decided this is going to be the slowest possible playthrough of Stardew Valley. My previous game on Stardew, I played for four years. Not in real life, four in-game years. Which was like 150 hours or something. Oh, tss, tss, nope, not Spider-Man. Uh, you might wonder, like, are my reflexes ba bad <laughs> or better because I'm a I was going to say dad. Better because I'm a dad. Are they bad or better because I'm a dad? Um, they're, I, all I noticed is that, like, in being a dad, you're always, like, kind of dropping something that's not the baby. That you're always sort of like the, the burp cloth is here and it's always and it's like caught here and you're holding the baby and then you're dealing with like wanting this to fall on the edge of the chair instead of the floor that's what being a father that's what being a father is i don't know i just i just want you all to know that i don't know what anyone's relationship like is with individual people you know the people that raised us but whoever took you from being a baby to being like able to like move around and stuff and like take care of your own self at least on a basic level like some people did a lot of work for us for me some some i didn't have any idea i didn't have any con i was like oh i was a baby and then i was like a kid and i got a couple of like early early memories of like things that happened when i was like three or four years old maybe or maybe they're just things i saw in videos and so i you know, made a memory for them or just picture them. In, I don't know, you know? Um, and at the end of the day, then you kind of like start to like kind of come out of it and you're like, a, it's sort of like an early teenager or something is maybe when I like really remember a lot of my life. I don't know. I don't know when you, when was your earliest memory, but it certainly wasn't of this time where I was like two months old and just like everything was being done for me. It's like, it's like getting like a pet iguana or something. It just is like, He's getting cuter and cuter, but like, he's just kind of like, you know, uh, even the iguana is more self-sufficient. Uh, I just, you get what I mean, right? It's just, it, you got to really help someone a lot. And some people helped me a lot that my whole life, I didn't even like know I wasn't giving them credit for. <laughs> like as parents, parents start off at, at, a, at a deficit of like a bunch of things that you're like i'm i made you into being you know we had to like we had to like do this thing right vader we had to be like dads you were you, you okay so you, so you and padme you made some children man you got we got we got to talk about anger there's so much stuff fear aggression past to the dark side obviously uh but we're gonna have a chill stream luke lemon art thank you thank you love Darth Vader appreciates your support, and so do I. Um, raising humans looks hard. I don't know. I just, I, I'll tell you what, team. I, I've, I've, let's get Vader right. I newly know that I know nothing. I used to think I knew some stuff. I used to think I could figure out what time things were going to happen. I used to think about just, like, having some kind of idea of, no. It just is we'll see everything's we'll see there's nothing like anything's not gonna happen next it's just you know i me anticipating that <laughs> yay i think vader looks enthusiastic in this position uh i don't know i just i'm just trying not to believe too much right now i'm trying to just to take it one actual second at a time uh thank you for hanging out with me thank you for your patience as i put up too many different things on a monitor uh for for me uh, a reason why we're going into the wilderness even though i'm surrounded I'm, we call this place here uh starship friendship i could uh show you perhaps the um 
the, the setup, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's so many monitors and things up and typing and things. Uh, but the reality is, uh, going into the wilderness, we would be away from lights and cameras and, and um, chats and things. And it's just, it's hard to go and stream in the world and need all of the accoutrement, all of these things that plug in, uh, you know, to make it go. And I've been thinking about, like, how can I work around that? How can I do something different? So I'm curious as a poll, I'm going to do, like, a formal poll about this. As as someone who joins on Twitch, because, what, okay, uh, man, okay, multitasking is not my thing. Uh, short attention span is this thing's going here team uh everybody could you help me count to 10 in the chat <laughs> let's do it <sighs> how am i doing eight nine all right, so my 10, I made it, thank you. So my, my, my sad tale is, is coming upon my uh, ding, 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 laptop over here. I gotta turn this down. The volume is so loud in my ear because I was listening to the chill out music. Um, yo, Lily Petals, welcome back for 38 months though. Welcome, and a loud chime accompanies you. Um, here we go, beautiful. Coming upon this laptop, the uh, whole shebang is updated and needs me to log back in to all of the different things. So I've added a laptop in the place of a, where another computer would normally be, and I am now feeling confident in the setup. Thank you for being here with me, Vader. I have to say, while Amelia is far more beautiful, charismatic, um empathetic, patient, kind, romantic, uh, then you, um, she's so many more, I don't want to, I don't want to say too many things because I think it would make it awkward between us and um, I don't know what you're capable of, but, uh, Vader is beautiful, Vader is more tiny, Vader is, um, you did, uh, you were the, uh, Emperor's Hand, which is a thing to be, you were the number two, the whole time. Number two. Ambitious to number two. Ha ha ha. That's a good way to check if the mic peaks. Was that too loud? Did the mic peak? Uh, Vader, we gotta center ourselves over our hips. I can't tell if I'm speaking extemporaneously or uh, what all. But okay. Here's the actual poll. And then we'll go into the woods. Then we'll go into the wilderness. Really thank you for being here and God bless you and universe bless you and whatever else bless you for just being alive at the same time as me and in this imaginary space with me. So, so here, here's what I, here's what I believe. Um, I believe that when you open a connection between people, you create space so space, this is my the underlying principle of my attention. The internet came to my brain as like a eighth grader. And I was thinking about AIM and chat rooms and like real time messaging online connection than this, right? that when you open up a chat room or you open up a lobby in a game or when you open, you know, like when you when you make these connections with people, the MSN Messenger, for sure, those had some very memorable sounds for me and like the, its own aesthetic, you know. And then, of course, things like, you know, Napster and LimeWire and Kazaa and Morpheus and, you know, ICQ. Yeah, yeah, you all that kind of stuff. You create Kazaa, yes, yes, you know this is this is a new space and so now if you like live in a cold environment like say in michigan and you want to go online into like a 
Diablo 1 lobby in the middle of the winter. You're there with your friend. It's like meeting your friend in each other's imaginary basement. You're like hanging out together in the basement, but you're in the same room because you're in the level four of the dungeon, you know, killing noobs or whatever. Like that's just what we did to survive at the time. Looking back on it, I killed too many noobs. And I'm paying for it now. I'm doing my, 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 what do they call it? Like a retreat to reflect in Stardew Valley. So we're going into Stardew Valley and all of the streaming stuff, the games I love the most are replicating things that I also love in real life, like being outside, walking through nature, looking at how beautiful things are, photo mode, uh, you know, just like kind of going to Tsushima and staying there because there's no COVID and there's no social distancing and you just different stances are cool. I don't know. Anyway, there's the whole escape into a new digitally created and a lot of times digitally enhanced space is fascinating to me. And I'm observing that as a general rule, part of what makes me most excited about most games is the environments and exploring and going to these new, like, you know, going around in Uncharted or, uh, you know, in moving through um, uh, Tomb Raider games or like games where we're like moving a Mass Effect from different planet to planet, like what's the terrain like and, you know, the Star Wars, um, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, uh, like all the different planets and the different environments, like, Mm, I love Waterworld as a movie. I don't know, I just, to me, the going there and being somewhere else and exploring and doing stuff is the thing. And so what I like to do as a person, what I really love to do, is take care of plants and, like, be outside and, like, you could call it landscaping, you could call it gardening, you could call it uh, just digging and moving dirt and rocks. But, like, I like that. That's what I like to do. I would like to be doing more of that. And I notice that that's a lot of what I'm doing in games when you're just like grinding and crafting and like, uh, you know, just dealing with materials and like uh, being outside or moving through, you know, seeing the rise and fall of the, the day. And so I've been daydreaming about this and like the whole idea is that we could go to some real place like say some place like say an orchard or not or someone's backyard that needed like uh their their five fruit trees pruned and you can have uh glasses there are like ray-ban glasses and there's other cooler ones that are like more obviously a camera like if you don't have to hide that it's a camera um but you can stream from uh a pov and like I could be avataring, creating a space and doing like just Stardew Valley in real life. It's super hot outside. It is going to be a heat wave around here, like 90s. The temperature will be very hot. Uh, so I wouldn't want to be doing this now. Stardew Valley is the better way to garden for now. But like, I don't know. That's I just want to throw that out there that that's sort of like a gardening simulator but you would be, you know, we would share a POV and I would probably have to have chat up on the inside of the glasses. This is what I want to explore. So, anyway, if that seems like something you'd be interested in, hit me with an X in the chat. Uh let me get a little gauge of your vibe on that and just let me have planted that seed because to me I want to do new things. I want to always be doing something new. When I came onto Twitch, it was six years ago, and I was doing it in a lot of ways before a lot of people were doing what they're doing. And, uh, you know, I was blessed to be introduced to a lot of people who had been doing it a lot longer than I had been doing it. So I'm just, thank you for, okay, this is that's some good interest. Um, I'm doing all right. Uh, Rainbow Wolf, try to keep my train of thought. But um, we're going to load back into our our game here. Our first game, our first playthrough of Stardew Valley was very long, four years. And now we are Slow Snoth on Slow But Risky Farm. And it's a blessed place. Um, 
we're all doing well. Family is happy and healthy, and in my case, I can speak for my myself, a little sleepy. Rainbow Wolf 66, welcome back for two months. And Brocco22, welcome back for two months. Appreciate you, BRZ DIC. Thank you for being here and subscribing. Welcome aboard. Little Vader's a little EP2. Um, how's the game volume for my friends? Do you like the the level of the the music and the microphone? Does it work okay? Sounds good. All right. Well, I'm gonna before we um, before we jump in, I'm just gonna share this poem because it's in my heart to share it. <sighs> I will wade out till my thighs are steeped in burning flowers. I will take the sun in my mouth and leap into the ripe air alive with closed eyes to dash against darkness in the sleeping curves of my body shall enter fingers of smooth mastery with chasteness of sea girls. Will I complete the mystery of my flesh? I will rise after a thousand years lipping flowers and set my teeth in the silver of the moon. Ooh. Ah, I just love this poem. Anyway, we're going to read some poems. If you have a poem you really love, let me know. This is uh, I Will Wait Out. That's E.E. E. Cummings' poem. And let's go into a slow but risky farm. Slow snows here. Uh, it's spring. It's been six days. Six peaceful days on slow but risky farm where we do everything slowly risky. We have one good rule, which is that we will not chop a tree. And we've been making a slow path so that we can go and visit our... Oh. <sighs> It sounds like a rainy day, everyone. Let's yawn. June McGee, I see you 67 months. Looking for a chill place to hang out while side questing Final Fantasy. Nice. Well, welcome. Let, should we check some mail? Let's do some yawning. No, we should. Yawning, I learned last week, is not the way to hype a stream up. We do want to relax stream. We like relaxing streams. What about this button? Don't hate it. Aw, oh, so happy together. No. What's the right, what's the right way? This is the way. Let's check our mail. I don't want to. I don't want to hear from the outside world. We don't check our mail. That's the, that's the other rule. We don't check our mail. We, we use the right tools. Let's use the right tools. I gotta move my mic a little bit. My candling noise headphone warning. Mm, yeah, we can't do yawning ASMR because it puts everybody to sleep. Rainbow Wolf, welcome back for two months. But I do encourage you to get comfortable. Can I ask everybody, are you like as relaxed as you can be? No, we do take, um, we take fallen branches. I realize I just harvested a little seed there. That was antithetical um we don't need to clear too much of that just just a just a scotch um we've been doing this we're going too fast slow down man slow down man sit in the flowers everyone sit in the flowers press x to sit in the flowers sit them down Wake up out of bed on a rainy day, storm out of your house, start doing some work. No, you just sit in the mud with the flowers. 
Look for the lotus. In the mud. Oh, lotus. In the mud. You can press circle if you want to, Yawn. If you need to, Yawn, you can. You can press circle. Circle to yawn, but mostly X to sit in the flowers and the rain. This is a nice place. I like it here. Should we enhance? Y'all want to enhance? No, let's stay here. No, I want to zoom in. That's what I want to do. Um, I don't think I can. All right, so we gotta craft some lovely. Oh, we already made. We already made them. We got rustic plank floors. I'll show you around. I think you're gonna like it. So we made a long path, a long path, a long path that goes from our door here, where we don't. We walk out. We don't check our mail. need to sell any of these things this is a nice these are these are not just it says stone but these are five of the nicer stones on the property i've been i've been pretty selective about it solar haley thank you for being here with a gift sub to litoria thank you thank you oh lula the lunatic thank you for a dad joke uh saying how did sushi a Greet Sushi B. Wasabi. Cat. <laughs> Cat. Uh, <laughs> IO8. Thank you for the sub. I'm glad you enjoy. Thank you for being here. And Luke Lemon, thank you. All right, so we're just kind of walking slowly. We made a long path that was indirect. I'll show you where we're going. We planted some parsnips, which we do have to go check on, I guess. Um, but we don't have to do it quickly. Oh, our bucket is filling. Press a triangle if you'd like to take a little sip of rainwater out of the um, bucket. Okay, got it. Got it. Why not? Have a little sip. There you go. All right, last call. All right, we're moving on. Having a little sip of rainwater. Never hurt anybody. Or so they thought. <laughs> uh, now, wouldn't it be cool if I made a... I guess it would be like an extension. It would register your... Would, let's go in the cave and talk about it. <laughs> a little system that would register... Oh, it's much drier in here. Oh, Press square to shake it off if you, if you want to get some of that rainwater off you. I feel a little bit damp and cold in this cave, but... Oh, this could be our... This is a nice cave. This is going to be a good cave. We're going to make good use of this cave. Last time we had these bats that brought us snacks here in this cave. Uh, but that's sort of beside the point immediately. Yeah, everybody's dry now. Just about. Some of you choose to sit in the wetness. But that's that's for, you know... Yeah, this is a... <laughs> um, this is Sweet Fungus. It's a private club. Um... Sweet Fungus is a private club, where we grow mushrooms, I guess. Uh, it's a bat cave. It could be anything. It could be a home. Uh, I would think about an extension that could take your input and then over the course of the game could register different effects on your role play of our Stardew experience. So, like, you know, by the end of the thing, you know, by the end of the day, then I could put in a couple of things, if true, that, uh, you know, someone pressed square to shake off the rain, then they do not, you know, get uh, hypothermia. We're in the wilderness, team. We didn't choose the regular square. Oh, man. This keeps happening. You know, these, these, these paths are not maintained the way they used to be now that there's only one park ranger. So this is the long path. We don't cut down trees. 
And, oh, we do gather wood. We'll just have a little wood. Oh, that was a special rock. I wanted that rock extra. We need... This. Inventory full. We do not need this clump of clay, probably, right? Does anyone need this? Will someone take this? Will someone take... Who, who will take this? It's a lump of clay. Used in crafting and construction. Does anyone know how to do pottery or something? Here. Will you take this from me? How do I get the... How do I get rid of it? Can't I just toss it? Remind me how to just toss this thing. No, no, my favorite stones. All right, well, this is going to the trash can, a.k.a. to all of you who will take it. Thank you. All right, so each of you who just chose to take it have obtained uh, a nice um, pump of clay. Let me know when you finish your piece, okay? Uh, this is Grandfather. Well, no, that's not Grandfather. This is the place we think of Grandfather. And nowhere else. No, and, and elsewhere, too, if you want. If you want. Here you, you ought to. If you're here and you're not thinking of Grandfather, this is, you know, what are we doing? But if we're elsewhere, it's up to you if you think. Here, we'll build, build the path right here. Oh, it's nice to see you. You stop off, you drop off some, you know, he liked. What were some of, what were some of the things that Grandpa always liked so much? Do you remember? Tell me the story of what he enjoyed. I think he enjoyed cranberry relish, and, uh, honestly? Ooh. We're kind of, we gotta go down. We gotta... Let's do a little, little retrieval. Love, lumps of clay. He always loved them. He, he loved lumps of clay, and we think of him when we make our clay projects. So we are going slowly. It is a beautiful place to be in the rain. It is not the case that we have a coat or an umbrella. I'm leaving these little corners because I think it'd be fun if things grow. You know, we want our. our Does anyone else kind of hear like a haunted sound every now and then? Is that a person or a demon or something? I don't remember. Nah. It's scary. It's not gra that's not grandpa. Is that grandpa? No. Grandpa didn't sound like that to me. When I was talking to grandpa, he didn't sound that way. Alright, now we gotta go We gotta can craft we can craft like one more of these beautiful rustic planks. And now we gotta go on the rest of our path to um to find what we can find. I want to show you all the, the way. Oh, but it's not this way. This is this that, that would be the direct path, and this is slow but risky, where we spend our whole day walking in circles <laughs> in meditation. Uh, soon there'll be a tree here. See a baby tree there, and then it grows up into like this one, and I guess like bigger and bigger, depending on its species, it looks different. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I noticed this before. We have two different bodies of water here, like this? I didn't notice this one. I thought it was all just one, or what's going on? Huh. So the one that's immediately south of our house, and then there's a little break. What are we going to do with this little aisle in the middle? This is cool. Wish you could jump in and take a swim. Alright, let's jump in and take a swim. Hit me with, um, I guess it's going to be triangle. 
triangle to jump in and take a swim. For me personally, it's a little too rainy to jump in and take a swim. But if you're adventurous like that, go for it. Oh, wow. A lot of you would go swimming. All right, well, I'll tell you what. You keep swimming here. I'm going to just do a little walk around the edge. I'll be your lifeguard who prefers not to swim but would swim if he had to. That's that's how it is for me. Um, just Moshi, thank you for the raid earlier. Appreciate that. And Susie the Nose, thank you for the gifted sub to Baby Vader. Appreciate So this is nice, and there's this little, like, ledge. Okay, so we come down here. Oh, yeah, okay. And then we go over here. Oh, our, look at our dudes. These things are ready. Parsnips. Our parsnips are ready. We'll survive, after all. We should do it slower. We should look at them each. Oh, that's a very nice parsnip. That parsnip's name is Jenger Jaden. Say, and when I when I hold it to my head, it says, "What's up, party people? Glad to be here." Zenger Jaden, what a fine parsnip you've become. What about this parsnip? What's this parsnip's name? Oh, Kim Cheese. I'm gonna hold this Kim Cheese twenty eight parsnip up. What does it say? Love you guys. Aw, thanks, Kim Cheese. Oh, here's another parsnip. I'm gonna get it. What a beautiful parsnip. This parsnip's called So Kayla. Who says, uh, being a responsible adult. Love you so much. Heart, heart. So Kayla, sending you good vibes. Happy birthday. And let's see about... Oh, Mythic Sandy. Mythic Sandy, thank you kindly. Appreciate you. Greatest stream ever. Y'all like pulling up the parsnips and naming them after the people who've resubscribed? To me, it makes sense. To me, it makes perfect sense. Look at this parsnip. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. We have to go slow but risky. Oh, my inventory's full. All right. Well, overall, these stones are not no 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 you know what it is you know what it is we eat the daffodil that won't kill us right that's allowed everyone press x to eat the daffodil plus zero energy eat it if you want to eat it you get zero energy moogie blue merci beaucoup moogie blue thank you all for the gifts of love Appreciate you, appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. It's time to eat this daffodil, whether you like it or not. Well, you don't have to eat it, but it's not, whether you like it or not, it's not what I mean. What I mean is you may or may not like it. You may or may not like it, but let's eat the daffodil. Not bad. Oh, look at this parsnip. It's named uh, Adela, uh, uh, Adelia Catnip. Uh, I'm not going to eat that parsnip, though. No, no, no. Oh, it's a, go it's a go glorious one. It has extra advantage. All right, what if I just want to... Look at this parsnip. It's called Cosmic George. Cosmic Georgie, thank you. And Plague Root. Uh-oh. Plague Root's also subscribed here. We have no more seeds, and it's getting late. We should head back home. The slow but risky way. I hope we can make it through here because there are some tall grasses and we said we would not cut a tree. Oh no. Let's get back home to bed. Oh, quick. Quick and slow but risky. Slow but risky. Thank you, Moogie Blue. And thank you, Mythic Sendy. Appreciate you for, for giving good vibes today. Oh, we're sleepy. Do you want to sell our parsnips? Slow but risky to sell s some parsnips. We should sell our parsnips, right? Why else are we making parsnips? All right, let's get to bed. Let's get to bed. All right, here we go. 
Good night, everyone. Anything you like to do right before bed, I'm gonna just stretch my stretch my gamer arm and stretch my other gamer arm and slowly get into bed. And uh, Quill Star Lord blesses this day and says good night. Congratulations, everyone! You've leveled up. Level 1 farming is a plus 1 watering can proficiency and plus 1 hoe proficiency, but you all were born with that. Stardew Valley Vibes. New crafting recipe. Scarecrow? We gotta put a scarecrow by our crops so we don't have to... Mm, fight off the birds who eat our crops, I guess. And basic fertilizer <laughs> no okay cool uh hey i have good news for you all no none of you listen if you don't want the hoe proficiency you don't have to have the hoe proficiency watering can proficiency i think you're gonna need if we're gonna be working here um let's see um I think we might have a special guest join us. A special guest could, could be here. Um, we've leveled up just now. Would now be a dramatically appropriate time. Let's start up the next day and then we'll take a little hydration break and we'll have a very special guest. Yeah, Perrier un understands the assignment. Um, you're all my stardews. That's so sweet. Jenger Jaden. You're my stardews? All right. Press circle if you'd like to join the circle of hands where people are standing together, holding hands, saying stardews. Just press circle into the chat. That is adorable. Here, someone grab my... Here you go, there you go. All right, everybody's grabbed around. Somebody else grab Baby Vader's other hand. Complete the circle. And look into each other's eyes all at the same time. Baby Vader's. He wants to see us with his own eyes. But I don't have one that can take the helmet off. So he's going to have to do it like this. Everyone look into each other's eyes and Baby Vader's eyes. And say, you're all my starters. You're all my starters. Even even the couple even the couple of you that are like me really me I'm I'm your Stardews, you're my Stardews. <laughs> Some of you are like actually too sweet for this plane of existence, and I'm so grateful for it. I just love the I love that image. For those of you who are like you too, yes, even you, baby Vader. Uh, we have a very special guest who is quite possibly my favorite human. Oh. That's a major clue. Uh, I'll see you all in five minutes. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you being here, and good vibes to the people of the... T <laughs> it's Amelia. It is. <laughs> it's my Stardews. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you all in five minutes, most likely with Amelia. Cool. You're so detective. That's the second time you detected today. All right. Y'all are good news. Y'all are good news. I, I really appreciate you, Squid, Fish, and Tomato. Thank you for the follows. Yesmin, welcome. And Opacity6585, welcome to the spot. It's... Olivia and Foreign Bob and Crimson Lord 3. Thank you for being here. Uh, appreciate you hanging out. If you're here for the very first time, type something in the chat. Let me know you're here. And we did we did well. Let's see what kind of day we get. Should we see what, what's ahead? We sold some... Oh, almost 500 golds worth of parsnips. So nicely done, everyone. Day seven. And on the seventh day, he rested. Sweating 
spreading weeds have caused damage to our farm. Great. We love that. We're going to have a restful day. Would you all like music or the Stardew Valley rain? For the hydration break. You can have either. Rain music, 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 rain, rain, tunes, tunes, rains, tunes, 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 rain music. I'm going to go with music. That seems to mostly be the vibe um, because a lot of people are sleepy. And also when we come back, it's going to be raining. So we'll have the rain music first, rain vibe second. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you to our mods, moderators. Thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate you being here. Let's do this thing. I'll be right back with a special guest in five minutes. BRB. So unfortunately our guest wasn't available to join. It's still Baby Vader and uh... Oh, hello. I have a rider. A big reveal. <laughs> do you see? You see it was Amelia the whole time. It was me. You thought that it was just Baby Vader sitting there so still, but it wasn't. It was Amelia puppeteering Baby Vader from down below perfectly still it was me. she's been here for over an hour like new that. freaking way way <laughs> hey soup dog 09 thank you for being here thanks for having your prime and amelia the chat is so relieved <laughs> that we are having if you see amelia here in this case like this we need to celebrate for sleeping babies Sleeping babies, babies, sleeping babies, babies sleeping babies, sleeping, sleeping babies, babies, sleeping babies, sleeping babies, sleeping. Um, can it be real? Thanks yes. so much. I gifted sub to Yako. Yo, thank you, thank you, thank you. Or no, uh, can it be real? Welcome back, and Teeny Skies. Thank Teeny you for the gift sub. There we go, there we go. See, I'm a little ship coo. We're a little ship coo because we are baby <laughs> parents. Yeah, we are in Stardew mode, Amelia. We've been doing a slow but peaceful route and mm. it's the seventh day okay we've been doing a little slow path building slow snaw well why don't you can you uh give me a tour i would love to here's a little light nice and this is what we use at night to uh navigate which is why we'll be blind by the time we're 45 <laughs> uh we are going like oh there's a baby in this and, and actually we we put like uh let's yeah anyway I was just going to make a joke about how we put obstacles in the way. We don't actually put obstacles in the way, but I feel like I always, my, my toes are finding the edges of things. It happens. A, a lot now. Uh, Lula the Stumping. Lunatic has a dad joke. Oh. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the P is silent. I was even going to make the joke, why can't you hear a pterodactyl? <sighs> I don't know. I, I got to start reading these ahead in my in my head alone and then deciding if I want to say it out loud exactly. But that is actually how you... That's pretty funny. Yeah, but you, why'd you... You hung back. You didn't really read it out loud. <laughs> for the class. Well, it said a dad joke, so you are you are the dad. That's like a very targeted hand grenade. You know, it's like, <laughs> hey, this is for you. <laughs> All right. What's, oh, you good? This is not really working. It's kind of a little Can you, quickly. We're, um, we're baby monitoring. Mm -hmm. Wiggles. Wiggles galore. It's a lot uh, of fun. Soup dog. Thanks for being here with your prime. Good to see you. Okay, let me scroll back up. So would you like to... Uh, See the farm? Yeah, let me see the farm. Take me to the farm, Bray. Slow snow. Okay. Please refer to me by my given name. Snaw of slow. Slow snow, not snow of slow. Okay. <laughs> We're going on retreat. <laughs> it's raining. Oh, I like the sound of the rain. <laughs> so, so chill. Snaw. Snoslo is our evil twin. Okay. That we do not enjoy being confused with. Okay. Because Snoslo lives deep in the caves mm. on the bottom level. Okay. 
so this is our place. Aww. Slow snaw, slow but risky farms. Nice. We just stand in the rain sometimes. I feel that. Alright, I'll be right back. Everyone, that was our special guest. <laughs> uh, that was our special guest, Amelia. Uh, that went really well. On a personal note, we would like to thank all sleeping babies in the world, all sleeping babies in the world. Uh, thank you for being here. Glad that worked out so well. Power nap for the baby. The baby sometimes likes to take one minute naps. One minute naps. Naps. I guess you could press triangle. What do we know? Not the bottle. What do we got to do now? Probably soothe the baby. Press square to rock the baby. I'm going to go walk into the mines. I can take a cart, can I? Is there a bus that goes to the mines? Do you go to the mines? This goes to the mines? Out of order. A daffodil. I think I remember the way. We're gonna go this way. For those of you who are curious what it's like to be a parent, here we are at the entrance of the cave. Let's go into the mines like we thought we were going to. Amelia's back! <laughs> Let's Hello. go back to the house and show around our farm. We're going the long way for everything, Amelia. We've been doing slow but risky traversal. Ooh. This is this is how it is to be us right now. Okay, okay. It's very back and forth. Yes. Mm-hmm. I like the flower. We were saluting that... all the sleeping babies. Oh. Wild leek was found. I like wild leek. Pretty trees. So I heard that your uh, your um, mission with Slow But Risky Farms is to not cut down any trees. Is that still correct? Yeah, we don't cut down any trees. We only will chop a piece of wood like that that came on the ground. Okay. But that's the reason we do that. It's because we're building a slow but risky path. I can see that. It's got uh, a lot of little, like, curves and edges. Yeah, it's um, it's really important that we don't chop down any trees because we're here in the wilderness. But because we're in the wilderness, we're having a lot of, uh, you know, things grow up in the path. And oh, We're going to rest today. We're going to rest. Why are we working? You don't check the mail? We don't check the mail. No, we never check the mail. We never check the mail because we think probably... Bills. Bills. Yeah. If you just don't look at it, it's not real. If you don't look at it, it's not real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about you... the stones? I like them. Okay. Do we you have any animals? Them. Stones can be moved if they need to, but if they don't... Mm -hmm. Do I have any animals? It's day seven. If you don't see it, it isn't there. Okay. It's day seven. We're just noobs. Day seven? Right. We're just having a restful day seven, walking around in the rain. I think everyone was going to press X if they want to stretch, because have, have a nice morning stretch. 
Uh, we ignore the mail. We don't check that. And then so we go around this way. We take the long way. If we want to sell anything, we can. Okay. We do do sales. Of leaks? Yeah, I don't want to be carrying that around. It's... And, and those rocks are the six best rocks we've found. Okay. Okay. So if you want, um, sometimes on rainy days, we just have a sip of rainwater. Would you like some? Sure. Oh, great. Have some. Uh, enjoy. Press uh, square if you want to have some rainwater. Mm. Mm. A lot of them are enjoying. Nice. It was triangle last time, wasn't it? <coughs> That's inconsistent. We'll have to decide. Which is better, triangle for a sip or square for a sip? I mean, triangle's kind of like as if you're, you know, taking the vessel to your mouth. Yeah, we've been doing circle to yawn. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah. Okay, you have a cave here, I see. Here's our cave. This is where, you know, danger lurks in here sometimes. We are going to make this um, sweet fungus. Oh! You know, a mushroom growing uh, private. A uh, club. That's exciting. Would you like some craisins? Yes. Sweet fungus. That's exciting. This is our, our grandfather's shrine that we visit daily. Okay. Because we take the long walk. I can't see it. Yeah, because of the tree. Mm. But we swore we'd never cut down a tree, so... Okay. It's a, it's a private place for... For reflection. I mean, I guess you could explore this environment yourself with everyone here. Everyone in the stream can give you a tour. Okay. Be right back. Appreciate you. Ooh, a meadow. I like the meadow. Running around in the meadow. I especially like the little flowers. You sit. Oh. It's been so long since I've been in Stardew Valley. I really like all the sound effects. There's another little field of flowers. Let's, let's sit. We sit, and sit, and sit, and sit, and that's what makes a Gumby cat. That's what makes a Gumby cat. Shout out to all my friends who like Cats the Musical. Oh, I see a baby tree, and another baby tree. Okay. Lots of logs. We have a big lake over here. That's nice. Maybe one day we'll go swimming. I will not chop any any trees, big or small. This is the exit of our fair farm. Lots of boulders. Makes a little tri okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna chop this. Oh nice. We're allowed to chop fallen wood, yeah? A little difficult to. Here's a little bit of a maze over here. Is that what? Is that what he's doing? Making a maze. That could be fun. Making a maze. I'll have to ask what his plans are for all these rocks. big field over here. I feel like we could do some fun kind of maze at the bottom. What is this? How goes it? We'll see. Right. So I have an idea for the bottom of your space over here. You have so many stones. Many stones. One could make a fun maze. Stone maze? A stone maze down here. Hmm. 
I like the idea of stone maze. Mm-hmm. Stone maze. Uh, how would we, um, do it only do one path through? Yeah, I mean, we All could have another All other paths another. led to certain peril, or to just reflection, like a, like a labyrinth? I mean, I feel, a labyrinth, maybe, yeah. A labyrinth. I don't think we can place peril here, right? You can. Oh, you can? I can. How? I don't know. Hmm. Yet. I bet you can. Labyrinth is slow but risky. Yeah. That labyrinth is slow but risky because what if you got caught in the labyrinth and it was time to get to bed? Yeah. Blind Bandit, welcome back for 31 months. It's good to see you, Blind. Blind Bandit, welcome back and thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. We're, this is slow but risky farms where we go as slow as possible. We do not cut down trees and, um, well, it's Sunday, so we're resting. Hmm. Oh, what's over here? Are you going to plant something? Oh, those are two new parsnips. Three new if you'd like to pluck them. Where? Oh, here. Oh. Yeah, we could probably tap the trees. That would be harmonious. Mocking Jay, how how long? No, no, no! Stop! Stop! You're chopping down the tree. What the fuck? I thought I was just tapping it. With an axe. Oh. <laughs> Babe, there's one. We have one. Did we not introduce this place as? You see what I'm working with? I thought I was just tapping it. With an axe! Okay. <laughs> tapping, tapping with an axe is chopping. <laughs> so tired. How do I, uh, how do I move the different, um... Triggers. Mm, the watering can? Maybe? Just axe tapping. He ran into my axe. 28 times. Um, you're shaking the trees? Yeah, that's the tapping of the tree, yeah? That's nice. We don't... There might be like a pine cone that falls down or something. Has a pine cone fallen down? You never know. Does... Does, it, does that happen? I feel like it's happened. I mean, it doesn't seem like a harmful activity, but... Yes, says Scree. And then he ran into my axe. He ran into my axe 28 times. Well, that's... That's what I said, but with like a way more sultry, Chicago-y kind of voice, so it works a lot better. Yeah. When I, when I said it, I was confused. It's dark. Why are, I've seen no success from this tree shaking. Wait, you, you are thinking of chill things to do. Yeah, this feels pretty chill. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. chill. Itsy bitsy batsy spider, welcome back for 17 months. So we have to go back Hello. inside because at midnight something bad happens. No, right? at 2 a.m. Oh, at 2 a.m. But midnight's a good time to be heading home. Mm -hmm. uh, Itsy bitsy batsy spider asks, how's life been treating you? Like, are you feeling blessed but exhausted? That's how I feel. Yes. I feel blessed and exhausted. I feel like whenever I wake up, I'm always like, I could sleep more no matter what. Like, I could always sleep more. Yeah. But. Things would never be the same. No. Alexander! Yeah. I didn't realize how good we had it before when we could My just, life like, was so sleep in. fucking good, man. I just did whatever the fuck I wanted to do. I slept. If you had I the opportunity ate, to sleep I in. I slept. I ate. I gamed. I slept. I ate. I hung out with my friends. I did whatever the fuck I wanted to do. Now, none of those things are true. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Everything that was so great was has been taken from me. Yet I am blessed. <laughs> How? It's a paradox. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm perpetually responsible for survival of an instinct of, you know, that we can't communicate yet. But we're, it gets better every day. It really does. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of optimism. It's a, oh. What are you doing? Throwing away our axes? Go, I'm just, just go to just, myself. J I know. Just get to bed. Get thee to a nunnery. Yes. All right, everyone, go on to bed. We forage ninety. 
Jeez sounds word. horrifyingly beautiful. Yeah, that's it, it. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's also totally exhausting, but that's okay because I've heard and I believe it will get better. I've also heard that it could be way worse. Yes. So it's it's hard for me to be frustrated. I, I get more frustrated with myself for being frustrated than I am frustrated in the moment. Yeah. I'm. Uh, that's that's how I feel about it. Is that I just wish I were some like, I just some like I need like th I need like Earth Mother to like replace forty percent of my brain. You know, the frustration's valid for sure. It's just I over I overestimated myself. And that's great. Pride comes before the Here we are. <whistles> there he goes. Sleep deprivation, that'll be easy. <laughs> I used to pull all nighters on set, yeah, years ago. What the fuck, man? This is tiresome. But then you'd be able to sleep for as long as you needed the next day. Yeah, you get to catch up and just yeah. now we're just sprinkling craisins on the floor and eating them mm. because you need the calories. Cal Kylo, these glasses are uh, Lacoste. They're great. I like them. However, they have gotten loose, and because I'm looking down so much, they slide down my face, and then I feel like a little old lady. Yeah, all nighters in your 20s are different than all nighters in your 30s. Mm -hmm. I, I am aware that uh, I'm glad that I'm that we're parents right now to be doing this in our 30s and not our 40s and so on. Mm -hmm. But at this stage. At this, at, for, yeah, for this young stage. But honestly, we're just grateful for slow moments of Stardew Valley. Yeah. It just makes you really appreciate when you do have time to do, Like, I, I appreciate the time that I do have much, much more. It makes everything, like, sparklier, if that makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. before, if you can play infinite rounds of Overwatch, right? Mm hmm. It's just like Overwatch. It's just Overwatch. It's just vibing. You're just like burning like 40 hours of your life. Just like hanging out, having a great time. Now it's like precious. It's like each round is like, oh, I'm only, I might only get like two of them. Oh, it's spring. Oh, nice. It's still the raining. spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. Hmm. Should we, should we weed today, Bri? We're going to do some weeding. We also, if I may. Are these the weeds? Since it's Monday. These are the weeds. Yeah. You can get them with the uh, uh, oh. hoe, yeah. Oh. That's a pickaxe, but that still works. Oh. That's the scythe. This thing will go oh. like, whoosh, whoosh, right. if you want to clear an area. Or if you want to get one in particular, just the hoe is fine. Oh, yeah. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lula the Lunatic coming in with some more dad jokes. This one's been pre-screened and does not include... Dinosaur bathroom humor, humor, although... It's pretty good, though. You would think I'd like it, given how much dinosaur spinach butt makes me titter so. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So it's in, the right, it's in the right world. What do we do with this dead tree here? That's it? called a stump. Mm-hmm. Just leave it. Oh. How much... There's a dead tree, yeah. It's just, it, like, maybe this guy we get. We can ax that little thing for our... For our pet. We don't need to clear all the weeds. What are we? What are we really doing? Okay. Well, this is the whole thing is that we're in the wild. Okay. So we we can clear a little if we must, but not too much. You pave paradise. You put up a parking lot. Like those. If you want to get rid of the weeds, get rid of the weeds in the path, not just the weeds that are just being weeds. You dig? You I love did. this labyrinth down here. Um. There's potential for the labyrinth. Part of the risk is having the weeds. We want the weed, babe. I'm honestly, I'm a little curious why you're why you're destroying Mother Nature so. I'm not fervently. I'm clearing a path. We the, we have a path. We've been building one slow and risky path this whole time that I was going to show you, and then oh. our child required our immediate. You see this path here? Okay, this path. No, we should take the whole. We should start from the from the top. The real slow way. Oh, see, there's Mother Nature just uh, fucking us up there. Our path, we can. No, no, no. What, what is that? Those are those are along the path. Okay. Those are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Mother Nature. It said along it the was. Path. It said it was ruining our farm. No, I wasn't talking about that. All right, we got to have better communication. We got to wake up a little bit. So, just you know, let's the boulder. 
Well, do you need to take the boulder out? No, you don't gotta take the boulder out. If, I mean, if you can, if you I can. can, you can. If you, if you can, okay. You wanna put there another one? Put a piece of wood. Put a plank. Put a plank on it. Put a plank in there. Oh. Oh. Nice. There. So it is raining, and I do think today would be a worthwhile day to get some seeds and stuff to plant to get the next crop going but here we go another another deal but see i why am i so why am i so focused on the productivity why why it's like my it's like my personal purgatory and i'm talking about in real life here you know like in game it reflects that right right now my brain is like <coughs> bless you the uh the store is going to be open and we should get some you know seeds to get them in the ground to keep it going you feel blessed i feel blessed Good. we can get some seeds because then we can grow new things now we've just got a couple of golds thanks friends and the planting things is fun yeah okay i'm gonna sell some leeks yeah and we have a lot of fiber we can sell the fibers and leeks and parsnips what about the wild horseradish or we can eat it. We gotta save that. We don't need it, the energy right now. Okay. Oh. A daffodil. Oh, a dandelion. Good forage. Forage is slow and risky. Actually, forage might be the definition of slow but risky. It's very slow. You have to forage a lot to get any kind of sustenance, and, and it, you could be wrong and die. Exactly. So foraging is very slow but risky. Hey, El Cid, thanks so much for the gift that's up to Obscura. Thank you kindly. We'll name a parsnip after you. So remind me where we buy the seeds. Up there. All right, well, there you go. Yeah, that guy will help you. Bye, everyone. I love you. Press uh, square in the chat to be a parent. Hmm. All right, let's talk to Pierre. Oh, Pierre, you shouldn't have come. Who knows what that's from? Oh, Pierre. You shouldn't have come. Anyone? Yes! Oh no, you're, I thought. Singing in the rain, yes! Wife guy Dracula, yes! Mockingjay, yes! Scadia, yes! Hardy, yeah! Um, if you have not seen the uh, movie Singing in the Rain, highly recommend. Uh, it is really fun and uh, Gene Kelly's in it, um, so yeah. Uh, okay, so what should we buy? We could buy, um, we have parsnip seeds, we have a bean starter, cauliflower seeds, potato seeds, tulip bulbs, uh, kale seeds. How much gold do we have? We have gold, okay. Um, jazz seeds, that's the kind of flower. Uh, grass start. I don't think we need any grass. We got grass. Sugar! Wheat flour. So, rice, oil, vinegar, wallpaper. Okay, let's start with the... Which of these should we get? We could get parsnip seeds, a bean starter, cauliflower seeds, potatoes, tulips, kale, or jazz. Okay, I'm seeing love for potatoes and jazz and beans tulips parsnips tulips okay well definitely potatoes um and beans mm, my inventory's full we'll start with the potatoes Oh, 
Magic Chicken says, pro tip, if I see things moving in the soil, I can use a hoe and earn something. Ah, we only got one seed? It's a special seed. Oh, maybe we could get some more. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've played Stardew. Okay, can we get more potato seeds? Maybe... Ten potato seeds? Ten potato seeds. Right, I got us ten potato seeds. Babe, that's so good. When I came, when I came back in here, you know, I was thinking... Potato? I hope we got at least ten potato seeds. And we do. Potato. Things potato, are working out. Tomato. Things are tomato. Out. I was told a pro tip that I, if I see things moving, I should use the hoe, which is this. Is this moving or is this just flowers? Those are moving. Oh, here we go, here we go. Worms. This I'm is a hoe. Oh, that's a pickaxe. This one here is the, the oh. yeah, over two. There we go. Stone. Those are just the flowers. Wrong tool. Okay. So where should we plant the potato seeds, Brad? Done, but follow the path until there is no path. That's how we go in the woods here. What is this? A baby tree? Yeah, if you leave that there, it'll plant itself into a tree. Up by our house, there's a path. If you follow the path till there is no path. Yes, Darth Vader wanted to evolve and turned into my beautiful wife, mm -hmm. Amelia. Lucky for me... Inside of Darth Vader's suit, behind that powerful voice and death grip and uh, all the other bits, is Amelia. It's me. There's a sweet, there's a sweet woman named Amelia. Would you like to repair that? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna open up the menu and the um, bumper over to the hammer. Yep. Start up at the top. Maybe it's trigger over to the. Yeah, back to the hammer at the top. Okay, set so you were there, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna grab your rustic plank. And you, every time you click on, no, you, know, you don't need to throw it away. You just click on it. Back on. Yeah, you just do it. You just you just click it to make it. There you go. I can just take some getting used. Pick up that with your. Now we have full inventory. You've been foraging so kindly. Yeah. Last Jaybird, welcome back for nine months. You're finally awake enough early to catch us. Thank you for being here. Hello. Where is everybody tuning in from? Yeah, where are you? What time is it for you in the world? So here's the path that goes down. Now, if you want to keep going, we were going to make our path even longer and indirect, but since you want to do some planting, keep going south. Now go over there into the obscure lands. And follow to the very end, you'll see that was where we were having our garden. Okay. It wasn't a great place for a garden, but it wasn't a horrible place, and it was far away, and it was slow and risky. So you got to use your hoe. And we do have up one hoe this proficiency. Is my hoe? Uh, if you were here, no, the hoe is this one. If you were here. When we got the plus one in hoe proficiency, can you type plus one hoe in the chat, please? Let us hoe. Some people here are just slightly more proficient in hoeing than others. It's valid. And I just want those of you who are plus one hoe, the tool. There you go, you clarified that. <laughs> I just want Mythic Sandy <laughs> in particular. <laughs> if you want to t take the points, you can take them. If you don't want to add that to your skill tree, you don't have to. You do not have to hoe. 
I, but thought, we are, I we like are, to hoe. We're hoeing here. Yeah. We must. That's a nice shape of a garden. <laughs> Looks like a middle finger, honestly. <laughs> what do you think of my garden? All right. <clears throat> it's like, it's, you know what that looks like, that garden shape? That looks like those those thwacky hands, the, like sticky hands. Do you know all those sticky oh, yeah, hands? They can yeah. throw and they go... <laughs> but this one's shaped like a middle finger. And it just sticks to it. Do they make those? I should look that up. Probably. I don't know if I want to type this into the internet. I could get anything. Oh, that's perfect. So should I water it even though it's raining? No. Okay. I mean, you can if you want, because we do have, for those of you who are here earlier, plus one watering can proficiency. If you have plus one watering can, type plus one water. Or plus one and a blue emote. Give me some hydration looking emote. Um, shiny Tigers, thank you for being here for three months. I appreciate you being here. is satisfying. All right, here we go. Last Jaybird. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. For nine months, that's a Twitch baby for you. Yeah. Raise it up, right, and everything. Teach it to vote. Teach it to vote. Mm. Having a moment here. going to take us a long time to build this path, but that is the slow and risky way. I guess we could walk around looking for forage and or branches like we do every day. Did you plant all your potatoes? You I did. did, I did. <sighs> I'm sure tomorrow we'll see some little starts. We'll see some little starts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody sees any branches in this dim, dim light? We like to go walking in the dim, dim light. Mm. I see some fallen logs. Press X to go f walking in the dim, dim light. We have to get plus to our uh, axe. We have oh, in order. weak, weak, weak boy axe here. Mm, yeah, we're gonna break it. We Unacceptable. Weak boy. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but that's what I meant. Mm -hmm. If you've ever wielded an axe in chopping wood, you've felt the sensation of weak boy. Acrylic heart, welcome back for 42 months. Welcome back. There's not a single person on earth who has swung an axe who hasn't felt weak boy about it. Uh, <laughs> who here has ever swung an axe? Yeah, that's in a good real question. life. Who really has? I don't think I have actually. You've never swung an axe in, in real life? No. You never swung an axe in real life? Whoa, Mythic Sendy says we that have an axe. We should is a fix professional that. lumberjack. And you did. Bitsy Bitsy has, and it's a lot of fun. Axe throwing. Daisy's been axe throwing. Jax has chopped wood. So all of these people at some point or another felt really weird about it. <laughs> axe throwing. Mm, I've seen that, uh, but I've never done it. Why do I kind of feel like you'd be really good at axe throwing? Like, I kind of think that might be like your weapon, babe. My hidden talent? I'm just saying, like, if I really think about, like, zombie apocalypse circumstances, like, well, I don't know. I don't know. You have to get pretty know. close up and personal. But the feel throwing, like, mm. and it's it's a mid-range throw. But you have to throw in a way where the blade will <coughs> land on the target, not, like, other parts of it. Right, but to be able to do that, you have to be kind of exacting person who, like, gets, like, the technique of a thing down, and I just think that you would... Except, like, I'm not saying right now, out of the gate, like, you could axe wield through the apocalypse. But I could learn. But I do think that, like, you are of that metal. Oh. And I mean that in a, in a, in a, in a dwarven way, I guess. But, and also just, like, you seem like the way, I could see you killing zombies with an axe and by throwing it. Thanks, Bri. Yeah. <gasps> I love you. I love you, too. You guys want to go to bed? If you press circle to yawn, if you feel like yawning. Yeah. I do. Press X if you feel like stretching. Uh. Press square if you feel like 
turning off your phone and unplugging the alarm so that in the morning there's no getting you. Uh, and press triangle to pull the sheets up real perfectly. Oh, that sounds snugged, good. Oh. Snugged, and, snugged and nice. Snugged. Get snugged. Snuggled up so tight. Stretch up, snuggle up, do what you can. Mm. Alright, let's dip. Day out. Ooh, we did some good foraging. No mining. No mining those days. Sticky hands. I literally just typed sticky hands into the internet and it gave me exactly what I meant. Mm -hmm. Sticky hands, middle finger. Let's try. That's where I start to get afraid. What is this? Oh, that's little weird. That's little tiny hands. That's little hands that go on your fingers. Little hands that go on your fingers? Get out of I've I don't seen, I've see seen cats. That. Uh, people put those on cats. You know what? Cars. I don't want that. I don't want to see that. And I also saw one where they did with little arms on a chicken. Oh, I don't like that. Little arms. Yeah, I don't like that. No. We don't like that. It's unnatural. It's unnatural. <laughs> Some consider to be unnatural. So when I was younger, we had a rooster um, that lived in our yard we had chickens and one rooster, and our rooster was really, really small. And, uh, oh god, what was their name? Rooster? Yeah. Oh. What was his name? His name was Cole. <laughs> and he died in a truck sliding accident. He had fancy feathers on his feet. Fancy feathers on his feet, and, uh,. He, um, what was his name? I'm gonna have to text my sister. What was his name? How can I know? I don't, I don't know. know. But he had Say some really, names that you think it might be, and he I'll had, tell you. It was not Squatna, that was the chicken. Squatna was the chicken who, yeah. was, who was real. It was not Hugo, it was not Wisna, not Fluffers, no. Mm. But he was real fancy, and we thought he was a chick. But then one day, he went, And he walked backwards. And that's how you knew? Yeah. And uh, he was real cute, um, but stayed real small. So I think he was a runt chicken. But he was a good runt chicken rooster. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, well, yeah. that's a great origin story. Mm -hmm. We also had a it's chicken named his life, Sabrina you know? and Oblina and Squat Nut and Miss Piggy. It's important to remind people to not assume animals' genders either. No. People always are doing that with dogs, just straight up get- Oh! And cats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or some people lump them all together. I think my, my grandma was kind of a like, oh. I'll text Natasha, what is? Find out. Alright. We've got a little baby tree growing here. What was the name of What was the name? Fancy. Of the fancy rooster. Rooster. With fluffy feet. I wish I, I wish I just did have that information. I was like, oh yeah, you told me one time, and it was, and it was obviously Rufus. It was not Rufus. We did have a rooster later named Rue, but that Roo? was later. Mm -hmm. Rue's a cute rooster name. Mm -hmm. Or chicken was a Rue, or Rue was a Rue. Rue was a rooster. Oh, huh. well, yeah. Look, a, look, a, a stick. Oh, get the stick. Big day. So, we live a very peaceful life. Simple. A simple life. Mm -hmm. I think we mentioned that we're- Mixed seeds, Bri. Nice. Nice. Plant those. Um, we're peaceful protesters who protest peacefully. Wild horseradish. What are you protesting? Anything that's not peaceful. Okay. That makes sense. If it doesn't make more peace, we're not about it. Inventory fell. Oh, I could eat the mixed seeds. I can't get down there. Should we go down there? How did we get there? Oh! An old house. An old house. It looks abandoned. It looks abandoned. I never saw this in my, in my long life. Hmm. Have I? I don't know. I don't remember an abandoned house. Maybe eventually we can take it over. 
take it over. I mean, yeah, let's do it. I'm throwing those rocks away, not because I don't like those rocks, but just because I might need to hold something else someday. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go to the beach. Mm, we're too little. Can I go to the beach? I want to. <laughs> okay, it's a hot day outside. Would you rather go to the beach, go to a lake, or stay inside in the AC? Beach, beach, lake. Depends how hot. How hot is it's hot? It's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Whatever hot is to you, it's that. Lots of people on the beach. Or inside. Or lakes. Do we want to meet this crazy wizard? We can meet the wizard. Something's going on here. It's uh. locked. You can hear someone inside, though. It's we'll locked. Just knock it down with our axe. Oh yeah, or a pool. Okay. Um, beach, lake, pool, or inside. Beach, beach, lake, pool, or inside. Well, it could be a lake. You mean ocean beach or? Probably, I would choose the lake. Yeah. But that's because I grew up in Michigan. Ooh, I think I would choose the lake too. But I do like up. the beach. Do we want to meet that friend? I kind of feel like a little afraid to, to do this. Why? Hello. Hello. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, I messed up again. Sorry, see, I just knew, ah, I knew I was gonna interrupt. Oh, this is where we could go fishing one day. We socialized. Oh, we socialized. We did it. We socialized. Just foraging for sticks and forage, you know? Mm-hmm. Like a peaceful protester must. Who here has ever been fishing in real life? And if you did, did you catch anything? And if you caught it, did you keep it or did you throw it back? I went fishing for the first time last year? Was it last year? Two years ago? Yeah, that when horse shot didn't your... give us much mojo. It was emotional. I don't. Yeah, think I... I don't think Amelia really enjoyed the part that people are like feeling most successful during. So I'm not really sure fishing is for you. No. You know, and everyone else is saying yay, and you're like ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We did eat the fish, though. We ate our fish. We, we ate the fish that we caught, which was, you know... Oh, a I friend. Think in a way, a oh, kind yeah. of a cool experience to be like, uh, have a relationship with the food, where they come from. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. You're welcome, Evelyn. I'll be back tomorrow with more potatoes. Live large. We got rainbow trout. That's what we caught. We did. We caught rainbow trout that were in a stocked pond, so their fate was sealed from the day they were born an egg. Ginger! Ginger was the name of our rooster. Our Ginger. fancy rooster with the fluffy feet, because we thought it was a girl. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> nice. Cauliflower seeds we still have seasonal time for, right? Boots with the fur, yeah. Boots, boots with the fluff. With the fluff. <laughs> boots with the fur. I got us some uh, cauliflower. Nice, I like cauliflower. Yeah, I really like cauliflower in this game because of the art. Mm. I like how the little thing evolves. Um, have it's really you, fun to get them. Have you ever made cauliflower wings? So you take cauliflower, and then you, uh, well, we put it in a, a air air fryer with bar, uh, buffalo wing sauce, and it is uh, so good. All right, magic chickens, give me a pro tip. Mm. 
that Pierre loves a dandelion. Mm. So I'm going to give Pierre a dandelion. Should we have friends in this playthrough? It depends. Pierre, 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 Pierre. Oh, Pierre. That's very kind of you. I like this. No problem, man. I'd give you another one, but I think there's a limit on how much friendship we can build in a day. I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't want to overinvest in your... He is a love interest if we want. Oh. Who is this? Who are you? Spe <laughs> we're just giving gifts to everyone in town. You get a prize and you get a prize. Crows! Crows? Fuck. I really Haley don't... does not like the fiber. No, that's a horseradish. Oh. I blew it. Yeah. Not a fan. Man, I thought we were going to be friends. Not a fan. You know what? Speaking of giving gifts, Amelia, I think we should give some prizes. Huh. Aaron Gray agrees. Aaron Gray? Today I was brave. Good work. Yeah? Passing on bravery who, to whoever needs it. And doing some tasks if you're putting them off for a long time. Nice. Yo, thank you. That's uh, awesome. Aaron Gray, congratulations. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for gifting this prize. If you would like to enter to win it, all you got to do is type to chat into the chat and Amelia will explain. So we have a mystery pack right now of our past legacy stickers. So you will get three m random selections of these random. three. Of these. Slightly uh, uh, less likely of this one. Yeah. This, or much less likely. You'll get likely. three of these randomly. Uh, so type into the chat if you are interested in entering yourself to win, courtesy of Aaron Gray. Thank you, Aaron Gray. Appreciate yeah. the love. And if you want more info on those, it's exclamation point gift prizes in the chat, which will take you to deckartgames.com, and you can order them for yourself or gift them as a prize on stream. Thank Please. you for supporting our channel, Aaron Gray. We appreciate you a lot. Um, ooh... Ooh, Ooh, it's Sleepy Owl 006 sleepy. with the Bert in the chat. Bert is the goodly octopus. Check it out. Whispers. Whisper. I'm going to whisper with instructions on how to claim your prize. Please double check that your address is correct before you hit enter, which will help you get your prize in good order. And Amelia. Bry. That's not all. Aw. Someone else is out there doing something likewise. Nice. Magnolia Sims. Magnolia. Says, Hoping everyone is having a nice, slow day. Slow it down. Magnolia. S it. Z. <laughs> a T. Thank. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I've done that, where we go like really no notes. <laughs> Anytime we ever have done that thing where we go like really, really slow, yeah. I'm not kidding you. We did some sleeping last stream, which was pretty. Actually, yeah, we saw. could do. Want to do a little sleeping? No. <sighs> I mean, you can sleep. I can't. It is so. I, we got like four minutes. The viewership skyrocketed. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but we slowed it down so much that as I closed my eyes and stuff, I my eyes opened again and I was craving Overwatch. <laughs> I was like, I gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> Magnolia, thank you. I, I really appreciate the love. Uh, and everybody else, keep typing in the chat for just a couple seconds and let's pull two more winners for Magnolia and then we'll go back to the slowest place on earth. Slow and deviant farms. What is it called? Slow but risky. <laughs> Slow but risky farms. Yeah. Slow but risky farms. Slow it down. Slow <sighs> it down. The winner is Daisy Can't Eat Bread. Aww. Congratulations. Congratulations. Da Daisy Can't Eat Bread, but Daisy can win, win prize. prizes. <laughs> um... Bread's not all it's cracked up to be. He couldn't say that. He couldn't say that out loud. Bread is really good. but There are other things that are good, too. There are It's other not things. like chocolate. Like, if Daisy couldn't eat chocolate, I'd feel it's really It's true. Sad it, for can Daisy. Daisy eat chocolate? Because if Daisy can eat chocolate, I think she's just fine. Daisy's winning, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I had to choose. Well, Never won a prize before. Well, congratulations. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate you all hanging out with us. And it's a lot of fun to see you be here. Hey, speaking of a new friend, we have Very Vera 8. Yay! 
Very Vera 8. Thank you for typing in the chat for the very first time. What a good sign for you. Nice. You have won. We will send you three of these stickers, and thank you for hanging out with us. Should we get back to our uh, friend that we tried to make who just called us gross? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Deviant Jewels, thank you so much for the cheers. Sending, sending lots of good vibes your way, friend. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, can everyone please look Haley directly in the eyes after she called us gross and say, have a nice day. She didn't call us gross. Maybe she just called the horseradish gross. I'll give her another one. Let's see. You want another one? No, don't waste your radish. Okay, thoughts on I horseradish. Wouldn't... Horseradish? Are you a fan? Horseradish, I'm only a fan of. Beautiful burb. Beautiful burb. <laughs> Beautiful burb. Will that burb continue? The burb's gone. Um, I, I like horseradish on a um, oyster. Mm. It's the only way. Yeah. It's the only way I want to have. I like horseradish. horseradish. I used to have it on gefilte fish as a child. It's kind of oystery, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's fishy. Happy time zone. Happy time zone. Oh, on roast beef. One time I took a uh, whiff of some horseradish, though, just in the jar. I was like, oh, what's this? Uh! Mm, yeah, it's, you know? it, it gets you right it, in here. It'll, 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 mm -hmm. uh, it could, it, it could get you. All right, let's go plant some more seeds. We got to take the long but risky way. Plant How are you seeds. doing? Let's do it. We gotta take the long path. Oh. Nice. Everyone press circle to yawn if you need a little yawn. See, there's gonna be lots of trees here. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Here's Grandfather's Hidden Shrine where everyone, everyone type their favorite thing about Grandfather into the chat. They gave us this farm. That's your favorite thing? It's only because they gave you this farm? Only? Well, I, I didn't meet thing. grandfather, so. That's true, yeah, that's true. You'd... Honestly. I have no emotional attachment. Neither to did we. <laughs> really, we got a letter. We're assuming. He's weird. He spoke very slow. He spoke slowly. He liked his slow stories. He spoke. Oh. Thanks to him, I got my dad. Oh. He wrote us lever letters we never read. <laughs> he was owed. Oh. We love you, grandfathers. Oh, how are the potatoes doing today? Let's check on them with our hose. No, the they're looking good. They need hmm. to be watered, probably. Let's cool plant fact, some... Ken Dryan. Thanks for, for letting everyone know. Nice. <sighs> Circle the yacht again if you need it. It's getting dark. Mm -hmm. This is when things get dangerous. Remind me what happens someone steals our stuff. Monsters come out. Mm. All right, everything's looking pretty watered. Should we head home? Yeah, it's 8.50. Alright, let's take it slow and risky way as we yawn our way to along the path. It's getting riskier every night because we have so many um I know, it's hard to maneuver. Oh here's your labyrinth of weedlessness. I don't wanna die out here. No. Amelia? Yeah. Do you wanna um play some Overwatch? <laughs> I'm just going so slow through this grass. So slow. It's making me crave running. <sighs> Sounds good. We're going to get to bed early tonight. Should we sell these fibers? Let's sell some fibers. We can sell the fibers. We don't need those fibers. No, no. All right, 
brain too sleepy. Should we all press X? X. Press X. Oh, oh we leveled oh. up. Oh, well, look at that. Nice. You uh, are plus one axe proficiency. Plus one axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. Oh. Nice. Well, when we chop them, I think, not when you shake them. Mm. Do we? I don't know. I don't know. I think that when you shake them, they could drop. Oh. We could also make a field snack. And we can craft some wild seeds. Wild, wild oh. seeds indeed. The time is upon us. Time is upon us. So, shall I round things out? Yes. Friends, thank you so much for spending time with us on uh, Slow But Risky Farms. I will go engage mother mode. Um... I love you all. <laughs> thank you, Amelia. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. Of course, of course. Uh, thank you for doing the thing. I do the thing. And thank you all for being here. All right. um, Hello, little one. We'll be to you shortly. Oh, team, so slow. So I just want to shout out to Frank. Oh, my God, all this yawning. Oh, team, this yawning. Oh, I got to wake up. It's really weird, team. It's really weird to wake up so early, but to think you might go back to bed so much, but not. So you're in that, like, you're in the false hope of sleep mode for so long, you know? Um, oh, you know, you heard Overwatch helps with the answer. We could play one, we could literally play one round of Overwatch. That would be allowed. I could get I could get away with one round. Should we just win one round of Overwatch? That's hilarious. Um, but I just real quick I wanna say that I feel like for these Tuesday morning slots, it is m more and more possible that they, they don't start right on time. So I'm gonna ping you all on Discord, but I'm probably gonna do it more like, all right, we're going live in like 30 minutes or 20 minutes or something because it's too hard to hit a target. If I'm like, oh, we're, this is what's going to be happening an hour from now, I'm always wrong. <laughs> I'm always wrong. Um, yeah, there's a Discord, exclamation point Discord. Come on over, Canada Ryan.